Alright, we're going to show you how to sign into Chrome. Once you open up Chrome, you'll see that you have this icon here. It says Current User. You can click on it, select Sign into Chrome. Then it's going to take you to your Google Sign In, during which you are going to type in your email address. And when you do that, it may ask you for your password, or if you are using a server where that already exists, will take you right here. It'll then ask if you want to link your data. You do want to link your data. This will allow you to have the same bookmarks and plugins across multiple computers anytime that you log into Chrome on that computer. So clicking on link data will then ask you to click OK got it. At which point you will see all of your bookmarks appear and your extensions. Once you have these you are ready to use Chrome as if it was your own computer. Hopefully this will help you and your students keep track of various pieces of information and required extensions across multiple systems. This is incredibly helpful if you're using Read and Write Gold because you need to have Text Help PDF Reader installed so that you can access Read and Write Gold text to voice through PDF from your Google Drive or Google Classroom accounts.